your chem trial is going to be cooked. Let's fix that. Let's learn everything you need to know about IOSpec in under 60 seconds. IOSpec has two main functions. It can instantly identify any molecule if you have a computer and database. But for HSC, it's more important that you can identify functional groups by looking at the troughs. In your exams, the IOSpec will be plotted on a graph like this. The x-axis is wave number, which is another way of saying wavelength. The y-axis is transmittance, which is the percentage of light which passes through the sample you're analyzing. The procedure involves finding transmittance by comparing intensity before and after light pass through a sample at a specific wavelength. And by testing at all the different wavelengths represented as wave numbers, we start to see what specific wavelengths are absorbed and which ones are not. So each individual point is showing the transmittance at a specific wave number being tested and a computer will generate the whole scan across. To read an IR spec, you need to look at the troughs, which are areas of low transmittance where infrared radiation has been absorbed by a specific functional group. Read from the middle of the trough and read off the specific value. Then pull up your data sheet and look in on the infrared absorption data and see what range this fits within. As this is about 2,700, it could either be a CH or an OH from an acid. Finally, we look at whether this is broad or narrow. And if you ask me, this looks pretty broad. So that confirms in this molecule, we have a hydroxyl from an acid. And to score full marks, you'll describe it like this in your exam. If that made sense, tell us what this trough and this trough are down in the comments below and name the overall functional group of this molecule given this IR spec. To finish off, the main drawback from IR spec is without a computer or database, you cannot figure out the exact size or structure of your molecule. You need a computer, or all you can find out is the functional groups that are present. So if your chem trial is coming up, save this for later and vote in the comments down below for which spectra you'd like to see next.